Hey! Hey! Hey, look, my beard's getting really long. It is, you look strange, you look like Methuselah. <laughs> Welcome to Car Radio. Yeah, man. Hey, uh, Methuselah, do you think he really was 400 years old? How old was he? 680 something. Do you think that's true, or do you think that, that do you think that some people hmm. in the Bible were exaggerators? I. You know how I exaggerate when I go, there were 5 million people there at my book signing, and there were like 50. <laughs> Yeah, no, nah, I just think the years were different. Oh. The years were different length back, back then. They might have been talking about seasons or something, like, you know oh, what I mean? Yeah, that's still old. Yeah, that is old. It's that 150. Old. Yeah, it is pretty old. I find it, I, I find it, look, I'm not, I am not an anti Bible person. I just find it very hard to believe that the average age back then was 38 and freaking Methuselah lived to 638. <laughs> he might have been, he might have been like my mother though. Sorry, my, I've got to tell you about my mother. What's happening with Thelma? So, no, Thel Thelma, who looks 60 something, right? Yeah. So, she's gorgeous, but she's been a health freak since before it was fashionable. Like, she's oh, yeah. been having antioxidants and like superfoods since the 1960s. Didn't, didn't you used to eat alfalfa and Brussels yes. sprouts and. and bean sprouts and stuff like that yes mm, okay. and in her attempt to have healthy children she had one stick thin child and one chubby one <laughs> guess which one i want <laughs> but, but i suppose what she did do was um and then dad died early too so oh maybe, whoa maybe she just really screwed all of us up. oh god oh, thanks mum well, she's all right she's hanging in there yeah good on you mum <laughs> oh, yeah, you're okay hey we're at the we're near the airport so we're at lyle bay and wellington which you can see behind us kind of and in front of us is wellington airport so if you hear jets and stuff that's that's what that noise is <laughs> and we've got a little friend a special guest mocha mocha this is come mocha here. the doggy come on come on mocha this oh, is, come Mocha. on! Come, come on! Come, come here! Come here! It's kind of sad for Mocha oh, at the she's moment. Lovely. Mocha mm. had a sister oh. called Brandy, and Brandy passed away only oh. a couple of weeks ago, and it's been oh. very hard for Mocha. So she's yes, a lonely yes. girl. She's a good girl. Were they, were they from the same litter? Yeah, they were sisters. Oh. Yeah, so they've been together for their whole lives, and it was very sad. Very sad. Oh, that is sad. Yeah. Terribly sad for Lisa and you know, Oh yeah. Oh, man. But you must you must wonder for animals, do they you know, if they she was always with Brandy and now Brandy's gone, does she mm. know where Brandy's gone? No. No, no, she doesn't. Does she still look for her? Yeah. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. But she was um comforted oh, no. a little bit. No, stop it, stop it. <laughs> stop it, you make me grow. Oh, stop it. Gone. No, but uh, when it was cold, put Brandy's jacket on her, and so she could smell it. Oh, don't! Oh my God! I was so, so glad I didn't bring this thing. Do you remember years ago, you and I read <laughs> it in the paper, and it really affected us. And it was what? called "The Power of a Dog." Oh it was my this poem God! That was written. Yes. When I was going through all our oh. stuff from our office, Ooh. right? I found it. Oh, the other thing, how they take your heart. Yeah, and I've got the whole oh. thing. I was going to bring it here to read. Rudyard Kipling. I was going to bring it here to read, but um, what I'll do is after we've done this, I will do it um, on on my page. But oh, it's just oh, yeah. heartbreaking. It's okay, incredible. Anyway, yeah, man, you got to something a little more light. Okay, a little more light. Anzac Day is coming up. Yes. And what a lot of people don't know about Grant is Grant is multi talented. He's very good at he's very good at lots of things. Uh. The one thing that he can do that oh, I geez. would almost guarantee no one else can. He can combine the New Zealand and Australian national anthem as a true Anzac. <laughs> flawlessly. <laughs> oh man, that's a, time. that's a lot of promise. No oh, mate, God. seriously mate. Uh, uh, Put on your Australian <laughs> hat. Now this is for all of our friends in Australia, <clears throat> the expats living in Australia, and us Kiwis. This is Grant merging. You do the last line with me, all right? <clears throat> okay, if I know, if you know I don't. Last line is God defend New Zealand. This is another funny thing. I don't know the lyrics to our national anthem. Well, you know God defend New Zealand. Easy line, the last. I one. know the beginning and the end. Okay. But what <clears throat> I'm saying is, how many New Zealanders are? Oh. Proud enough to say. <laughs> okay, right, okay. And now here is Advance New Zealand Fair. 
God of nations at thy feet for we are young and free hear our voices we entreat our home is good by sea God Pacific's triple star of beauty rich and rare make her praises heard afar advance australia fair in joyful strains then let us sing god defend new zealand Woo! i was screwed up the second line i'm so sorry no that was, that was awesome Thank you. that was awesome you're in career you're an incredible man <laughs> hey be, mm. just Look, I have to. I think I think we should make it very clear that we have in our relationship we have equal rent rights. Mm. Do you mind now? I mean, we've been, we've had the sad time with the doggy. Oh, we've had man. your brilliance with Advanced New Zealand Fair. Right. And now I would like to have a rant. Can I have a rant? Yeah, sure. What are you going to rant about? Oh, you know. Okay. What's going to happen? What? What do you mean? We're going to get in trouble for no. a rant. Oh, no, God. no, I promise I won't involve Albanians, <laughs> Armenians. <laughs> We're not got in trouble for doing that. I won't talk about Barbie dolls, <laughs> about dark haired Barbie dolls or blonde Barbie dolls. Okay. I won't even talk about getting vaccinated. Oh, you should. Um, I <laughs> am going to talk about. Um, Go. This is the most annoying thing in the world. What? Okay, so I'm just, this. So, Catherine, I want you to go run. Okay, this is my run. Sorry, Mocha. She's good. Yesterday, I went to Caltex. Now, you know Caltex has the best car wash in the city, right? It's the one that- Oh, the spray one. Yeah. 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 Okay. Without the- So, there's no one in there. There's no one in there. There's no one in at the car wash. Mm -hmm. I park in a sensible situation, and I go and buy my ticket. You didn't park? I didn't park as though I was going to get my car washed because what if somebody had already bought a ticket ah, and it was the right perfect. So, thank you. I park in a sensible parking spot, mm -hmm. go and buy my ultra fast wash because mm -hmm. my car I can't you do the super wash. Okay. Ultra wash came out to my car and somebody had parked in the car wash thing. Oh, and they were in the line buying their ticket. And they had walked oh. into the line to buy their ticket. Oh, I hate that. I was so furious. I was so effing furious. And I thought to myself, okay, what I can do, two things. I can pull back and then demand, like a mental person would, and I'm a bit of a mental I could demand that he or ask nicely, please. I would. I got my ticket first. I I have the right to have my car washed first. Or I could be cool. I could be cool. And yeah. do you know what I was? Yeah. I was somewhere in between. Oh. I stayed in my car. Yes. And as he headed towards me, I went like this. <laughs> and then I went What's like this. <laughs> you <laughs> word. And then I sat there, and the, you know, the worst thing is, what? he was an old man, and he couldn't operate the the, the numbers thing. Oh, so he God. got in the car, got out of the car, <laughs> operated the numbers, got in the car, then got the Supreme Watch, which took like 15 <laughs> minutes. And that whole time, I was thinking, how do you not know the courtesy of getting your car washed? You park, get your ticket, get in line for your car wash. Cheeky. He's the sort of person that would that would just join a queue and waiting to get on a plane and go, hey, it wasn't a firm queue. You can just pop in whatever you like. Right, yes. Not but I was right, right. Like I, I, he shouldn't have done that. He shouldn't have done that. I, I hate it when people do that too. That's terrible. What would you do? You just sit. I just sit there you? and just go, ah, oh, well, I wasn't. Oh, you know, what do you? Do? You know, this is one thing I've learned about anything is, what are you prepared to do to win? I couldn't. I could. I could have taken them down. No, you could have also gone and parked in there, got your ticket, come back out, and then put it in and gone through. As long as you were willing to face the fact oh, that some people sitting behind that. you might be pissed off. See, I wouldn't do that. Why? Because you're worried that somebody but, might. Because I think it is incredibly rude and cheeky, and it's yeah, that's cheating. Why I wouldn't do it. It's cheating. Yeah, that's why I wouldn't do it. That's why I wouldn't. That's why I wouldn't do it. It's like people who put their jandals on a seat by the pool at six a.m., but they're not ready to come down to the pool at the hotel until eleven. Who does that? Germans. Oh, not all Germans. Hey, I'm some German. Ge some Germans. You're very German. You've got a lot of German in you. You proud of me though? That all he got was a and a. 
Yes. Yes, I suppose. 